Hello and welcome to the Ventus 5.3 feature video. I'd like to show you some of the Ventus 5.3 features we released with the recent update. First of all, we added UV texture distortion, which is similar but better than the old Ventus 4 DMAP feature. I used a simple movie which should create a wave ripple effect. You can add this feature by adding a UV distortion material stage. Also supported are normal maps, which will distort the texture with the correct UVW coordinates. Array support for expression nodes. Inside the custom model, you can find not only float, int, string, boolean, etc. You will also find them as arrays. For example, you can use the string array in a string expression to select the longest string. The boolean expression is a brand new node in Ventus. Use expressions and whenever the state is true, it will set a boolean or fire in an event. Let's come to a very awesome feature, the 3D layer reference. You can create content inside the 3D layer, select which nodes or content you would like to filter out for the references or have it in the main view only. You can define different cameras inside the layer and use their independent views for the references. For each reference, you can use your own set of IPP effects. The web browser in Mantis is now based on CEF, the Chrome Embedded Framework. It has full HTML5 support, including WebGL and multi-touch input. Audio is now routed through Ventus. You have optional content blocking based on ad block filter lists, which can be found in the config editor. Ah, by the way, the CF browser supports Ventus URLs to access project data. We increased the number of NDI video inputs to 32 in total. Each video input supports a maximum of 16 audio inputs per channel. Let me introduce you the cluster tasks and data nodes, which simplify synchronization tasks in a cluster environment. This node is super useful for synchronizing asynchronous loading processes. With the cluster data node, you can collect data from the master and synchronize these data with the clients in the cluster. The render setup config is now able to have a production and design view. You can find the switch in the top bar. The last feature I'm going to show you in this video is about the touch area. You can display the touch area, this can also be found in the top bar, and relocate the touch area for the cluster. You need to unlock this area first and freely reposition your touch area, rescale it and or restrict it to only a few devices. We have many many more features, changes and bug fixes. To get a complete list, have a look at our website ventus.com or visit our forums. Thanks for watching, regards and enjoy!